Welcome to afternoon tea at the Brown Palace. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. It's not your cup of <clears throat> tea, so to speak, but don't be so quick to judge. It's not everything that everybody thinks that it is. It can be intimidating because they're like, oh, what do I even call it? You know, I'm not sure. Do I hold my pinky up? How do you do this? But the great thing about afternoon tea is that there's no rules. People can come and just enjoy it and have fun, and you don't have to put on a dress. You can come and be casual. And the Brown Palace knows what it's doing when it comes to this English tradition. It's been serving up tea and pastries every afternoon since it opened in 1892. The Brown Palace is unique in the fact that you can really use all your senses. You can taste it, touch it, see it. Still not sold? Did I mention they have pastries? And I'm not talking day old donuts here. Chef James Gallo works hard to wow you with three palate pleasing layers of finger food from fresh baked scones to sandwiches sans crust and to top it off, chocolates. A lot of thought goes into what goes together and what doesn't go together. And the other thing we have to think about is what is going to complement our uh, actual teas. Afternoon tea, it's like getting dessert before dinner. And despite what mom always said, that sounds like a great idea. It's just a gorgeous thing to be able to come and experience because it is a piece of history.